Little boy, you can't mess with me. I make money move. This is expensive. This is red bottoms. This is bloody shoes. Hi, my name is John and I'm a rapper. <laughs> Today we are making a money cake, a money flex cake. That's why I'm wearing my little Tay jacket and I'm looking super fresh for you guys. This cake is super luxurious, extra fancy with all the Mario Kart coins that I sprinkled on the bottom. It just sets it off. I know you love it, right? It was pretty simple to make, so let's get started. Let's create this cake. I'm using a 9 by 13 inch mint chocolate chip. So it's chocolate cake and then I added some mint and green food coloring to some vanilla cake to get the mint component. And then I just marbled it. This is how you marble cake. Vigorously. It's like uh, when you're using the shake weight. I decided to go with mint because in the UK, minted is a word for rich, right? It's a slang term for wealthy, I think, right? I baked my cake, leveled off the top, and I wanted the edges and the corners of the belt to be extremely straight. And I also didn't want to waste any of the cake. So I cut my cake in half and used the middle as the edges of each of the dollar. Then I took my dollar template and cut out three dollar shapes. After that, I began to stack my cakes on my cake board. I just added some buttercream into the middle of each cake and then spread it out using an offset spatula. I added my next layer of cake and gave this entire thing a crumb coat. Now, if you want to make the three tiers this way, you're going to need another 9 by 13 inch cake pan. But I was working on several cakes at the exact same time as this money cake. So the next two tiers I actually created with all of my cake scraps. I just filled in each cake with a little bit of buttercream in between each piece of cake scrap. If you watched my drum cake, then you know that part of that cake went into making the second and third tier of this cake. You should watch that video too. I worked so hard on that video. There's a link for you in the description box and also at the end of the video. I gave each of my cakes a crumb coat and I just tried to make sure that the sides and the top of the cake were as smooth as possible. Then I placed them into the fridge to set up. Now I covered each of my tiers with fondant. Um, and I don't have the color though. It's kind of like a, a star fruit, but five or six shades lighter. Now I just use a cake board that I cut out to be the same size and shape as my money as a guide. Then I took a ruler I started to give my fondant some texture. I didn't want this to just be flat on each side. I wanted it to look like stacks and stacks of bills and bills and bills and bills and bills and bills and bills. You know, it looks like there's enough that you could make it rain on someone. Like a beautiful person who's dancing for you in a very personable way. <laughs> I did this on the long sides as well as the short sides. I wanted to look like stacks of like a hundred thousand. Probably, I think it's like, I'm gonna say like 20,000 in each tier. And I took my cakes out of the fridge and I started to panel the long sides on each of the cakes. And I wanted to make sure that I made each of the sides straight, so I placed these back into the fridge and let them harden. And I took them out, trimmed away the excess fondant, and applied the smaller sides to each of the cake. I placed them back into the fridge again for about 10 minutes, but it was supposed to be like 10 minutes, but it turned to like two hours because I had a really good nap. I finished my cake, taking a nap in the daytime. This is a life. Do you guys know that song? Now I took my cake out of the fridge, cut away the excess fondant on the shorter sides of the cake, and then I just used my sculpting tool to kind of blend both of the sides. Now if I were to do this cake over again, I would have placed each of my panels of fondant into the fridge as well before I placed them on the sides of the cake because the fondant would set up and they wouldn't morph. If some of these sides aren't straight, they're wavy because it was too soft. Now I added a larger piece of fondant to the top of the cake and I just cut away the excess with a paring knife. I wanted to blend the edges of the cake a little bit more so I mixed a little bit of fondant with some magic sauce and I created a fondant paste. 
I placed it into a piping bag and I piped it along the seams. Then with my sculpting tool, I blended that into the sides and voila, the seams separated like that. And then all my fondant work was done. Now for the bottom layers of cake, I took a PVC pipe and I just inserted it into the middle of the tier. So when I start stacking these cakes, it'll be easy for me to add support into the middle. After that, I gave my cakes a dirty wash. I just diluted a little bit of green, yellow, and black food coloring into some magic sauce, and I just painted it onto the sides of the cake. Now, I want the color to get in between each of the lines I created with my ruler so that I can emphasize how much money is being stacked. You know, you want a lot of money to make it rain. You know, make it rain at like a bachelor party, bachelorette party. Maybe your kids turn in nine, maybe your kids turn in 90. I don't know, but everybody likes a little rain. Once I finished painting my cakes, I placed them back into the fridge and I started to work on the top of each of the stacks. So each tier of cake is a crisp looking $100. A bail. To create these, I actually didn't really have to do anything. Well, I had to drive. I had to drive down to my bake shop, which is in Pico Rivera, the Bake 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 Baker's Bodega. It's really far from where I live. I emailed them a picture of the hundred dollar bill that I found online, and then I had them print it out to the size that I needed it to be. They have an edible printer so you can eat the paper, you can eat the ink, no worries. I cut each of the dollar bills out and then applied them to the top of each of my tiers with a little bit of that Dirty Watch magic sauce. Now I wanted to match the edible print with the rest of the cake, so I mixed some green, yellow, and brown luster dust and I just dry brushed it onto the top of my hundred. Hundred. How much is there? Not a hundred, no. 100. <laughs> now we need to like stack the stacks of hundreds. Place a PVC pipe into the middle of my cake board and I glued it down with a hot glue gun. Once it's set up, I took my bottom tier of cake and worked it down the PVC pipe. Now I'm using a pipe coupler as support as well as two bubble tea straws. Now I added another cake board and then my next tier of cake. Make sure you cut a hole into the bottom of the cake board as well or else it's, it, it's a mess. And I added two bubble tea straws into that layer of cake as well. And then added my final tier of cake. And I wanted this cake to be over the top so I added some jewelry, some gold beaded jewelry that I got from the 99 cent store. And then I added some uh, Mario Kart coins because you know you gotta get that paper, but you also gotta get that coin, right? This bump, we're cool. I was gonna get like chocolate coins, but then the the yellow was too fake looking. That's why I went with my Mario Kart ones. And voila, my money cake was complete. I love the texture on the side to make it look like there's a lot of different bills. And I love that the most complex part is actually just a printout. Now this is one of the cakes I would definitely love to see you guys create. Even if you don't want to create the three stacks, just create one stack. But it'd be really cool to see people replicate this cake with their own currency from their country. So I've got a stack of hundreds. You could have a stack of other money from other places. A like currency from Thailand, from Japan, from the UK, from Canada. You can put your own currency on it. That would be so bomb. If you do make a currency cake, make sure you tag me because I want to see it. Now I'm guesstimating that there's $60,000 stacked between these three stacks of hundreds. I'm curious, what would you do with that much money? I already know, man. I would buy a whole bunch of cup of noodles. I'd buy Ferrero Rocher's for days. And I'd also buy a bouncy house. A drunk adult in a bouncy house is the best thing ever. I'd also invest in a Roomba because sweeping is the worst. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on and you can be notified when a cake is posted on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace! Thanks you guys. Boom.